a few things about the Cherokee Worldview Garden, a couple of high points that I'll hit. Um, one is that there was a great need in South Carolina specifically for contemporary, accurate, and respectful interpretation of um, Cherokee people, because uh, they are contemporary peoples. They deal, do still live in the region, and of course we're very close to the federally recognized band uh, over in North Carolina. Um, what I hope this garden could also achieve is um, modeling thick culture, which is a, a, a term uh, that was fleshed out by Clifford Gertz, an anthropologist, famous anthropologist. And it's the idea that a garden can present a um, depiction of culture that's really rich, as opposed to what normally exists in gardens, botanical gardens, public gardens, where um, you might see a plant used for a particular purpose by a particular people, but you rarely get contextual information, or at least deep or thick contextual rep uh, representation of the culture. So I hope this garden could provide that. We also want it to be a living demonstration of the importance of biocultural diversity. So as scientists, we know the importance of biological diversity for resilience of the system. It's no less true for cultural diversity. And so we hoped that this garden could be representative uh, of that fact, and uh, we would also interpret that to, to visitors in the garden. Uh, lastly, we wanted to reconnect contemporary individuals with people who lived in the region and, and are still there. And so uh, we wanted to demonstrate through this garden sort of the long chain of knowledge uh, that people had and have of the place that is South Carolina contemporarily and where we are now. Um, so I'll just point out a couple of features of the garden. Uh, this is an aerial shot of the garden. and. Um, Worldview comes into play in the direction east is quite important in Cherokee worldview. Um, the cardinal directions themselves are quite important. Also, water is important. This has been uh, placed in the garden in two different ways. And then lastly, I've connected uh, students with this project and community members and botanical garden staff with the project from the very beginning and Cherokee people were involved from the very beginning. And these photos represent some of that work um, over quite a number of years. And then in 2010, we formally put the garden in the ground and uh, we have some uh, pretty interesting interpretation. I hope you come visit. It's within the South Carolina Botanical Gardens, the Cherokee Worldview Garden. Thank you. Thank you.